Yo guys, it's Aiden from yu gi Aiden here. I just want to say thank you for the love and support on my hero deck profile a couple of days ago. I'm really grateful and very thankful for it. So, but since we pretty much hit 10 likes, just over 10 likes and over 200 views in 3 days, that's like, okay, I need to get this combo video out. And... Today I will be showing you two ways of going first and second, even though it's the same way. But if the hand we get is not right for it, we'll just reshuffle and go for it. Otherwise, we'll just go straight in and do two going first hands and two going second. And they're both completely different. Completely different for each other. Even though it's the same type of combo for first and second, but I will say a big disclaimer: this is without being interrupted. No hand traps, no Nibiru, no nothing. Just going full out combo. There's, and as soon as I say it, this will be a choke point, this is a choke point to hit the deck. So I'm just doing a quick shuffle behind the camera, just so we can. Have a decent shuffle, and we'll be doing a cut like pretend there's someone there. So, do one more couple water shuffles, and here we go. So, the opening hand we get for the first going first hand is a Miracle Fusion, Ferris, Chalice, Chalice. And the fourth is an Ash Blossom. Well, that's not a good opening hand for going first. So we're going to shuffle that in and reshuffle and try and get a better hand. Legally, you cannot do that in legal play for locals or tournament play. So this is only for testing. So we will go with it. But if that was a going second hand, depending on what the second card would have been well the draw would have been for going second it would possibly be able to get us out of the situation so i probably should have checked that but oh well we're doing two first going first hands so let's try hand number one again officially we got a vion which is a great opener already an imperm a shadow mist super poly and liquid. So okay, we can work with this. So okay, what I would do personally, I would normal summon the Vion, activate Vion's secondary effect to send a Shadow Mist. And you'll probably think, why not a malicious? Because at this point we need to have the Ferris in hand so it can do a more better combo. So we'll be sending the Shadow Mist. Effect the Shadow Mist engraved to add in the Ferris into our hand. And one of the choke points is Vion. So with Vion, you can ash the first effect, or you can ash the second one, but it's banished for cost. But you can still ash it. So when you ash the Vion, when you send it here from deck to grave, that's completely fine. But then with the hand you've got, you'll literally have to set the Super Poly and Imperm and pass turn and hope to go, able to go full combo again on the next turn. But since we're going through a f going first, I then would reveal Ferris to activate the effect to discard the second Shadow Mist. The special summon the Ferris. Another choke point is Ferris. When it's special summon, you can place an increase into the spell and trap card zone. And from that point on, once it's negated at that point, you're not locked into heroes. And that's when you would go, okay, link to DPE. But we can't do that anymore. So the next big choke point would be hitting the increase. Not hitting the increase straight in the spell and trap card zone was more when it's summoned. So if you 
Link distribute Vion to special summon the increase. Activate the increase effect to special summon another Vion. Which you're going to be doing anyway. But then when you summon the second one, you can't send another hero from deck to grave because that's a hard one per turn. So, but the bit I didn't mention was you can activate the secondary effect of Vion to banish a hero from deck to grave to add in a normal polymerization. And sadly you can't add in super poly with Vion because it's why I didn't say a polymerization card. Which sucks, but it's completely okay. So we will add in the poly from deck to our hand from Vion secondary effect. And from here, it will be a bit difficult if you don't know what you're doing, which is understandable. So from there, I would say activate poly. Fusing the Vion field and liquid soldier in hand to special summon the elemental hero sunrise then from that i because they're both mandatory effects i there's a thing called chain blocking so i would activate as chain link one liquid soldier then chain link to sunrise to add in the Miracle Fusion, which is always a great thing to do. Because then you get to the, the draw to discard one, because then if you draw a Mali, you can still go, I have, here we go, we can discard the Mali, and we still got full combo. So we'll be adding in the Miracle Fusion. Sadly, it's not an ulti, it's an ultra, but we live. Then we reshuffle. Then we draw to discard one and the draws we get is a mass change and hopefully it's the Mali for the second one and it's not so from this hand polymerization is in the grave honestly we would like to keep all of these but sadly we're not able to really go far enough with it sadly so I should have kept the, Mali, the second shadow mist in hand ready for next turn or something like yes that is true but i would possibly say get rid of the super poly just more of a going second card anyway to break the opponent's board then with this hand you could just set the mass change and go into dark lord next turn but if we need the Effects for Dark Claw quite quickly. So. I would activate the mass change. Send. Increase to Grave. To Special Summon the Dark Claw. And I know it's not ulti either. But I'm working on it. So that would be the. End board for one hand. Which is not that great. Let's be honest. But we could also activate the Miracle Fusion to get an absolute zero out, to get an extra 200 for from Sunrise. But then you also have to think, okay, what else can I do at this point from after activating the Miracle Fusion? Yeah, you could still do the Dark Claw play, but if you go in second, you have the Dark, you have the absolute zero acid play, which I probably would have done. So pop your opponent's field and pretty much, yeah, pop the monsters and pop the spells and traps. But you can chain block those as well because they're both mandatory effects. So it's like, yes. So that's one going first hand, officially. Would I do something different with that hand? Obviously, yes, I would. That was the play I saw. It's like, okay, we'll get through it. Yeah, it wasn't really the best combo part of it which is fine but we will get through it so for the second hand we're gonna get i'm actually gonna cut this as well because i didn't do that so that might be a factor why we didn't get a decent hand so we go 
I tend to do the cutting in three ways, but I don't know why, I just always have. So the next hand would have been Ferris, Stratos, Shadow Mist, Mass Change, and a Hero Lives. My god, this hand's broken. Okay, this hand is pretty much full combo, no matter what. It's full combo. So, let's say we pretend to be a hero. Yeah, we pay half our life points, whatever. Because we've baited that because they think we don't have a Stratos, but really we have a Stratos. So we'll normal summon the Stratos to add in the Malicious from deck to hand, which is the best way to go. If not, we will send the Malicious from Vion, but we don't technically need to now because we have the Stratos in hand. You're probably thinking, oh, to get the Stratos Queen, you should be running E eventually. Because, like, yes, we could run a E call. But then again, it's just another card that's able to be ashed. And if Halo gets ashed and we have the Stratos, it's completely fine. But if we bait it, then I probably would substitute one of Hero Liz for an E call in the future. But we'll have to wait and see. So, to be fair, this hand is busted. I'm quite happy about it. So, as we did before, but with Malicious, we activate Ferris, discard the Malicious to Grave, Special Summon Ferris, Place Increase. Because the opponent knows at this point we're going to be going into the deck more often than not. They're not going to say it was fine, just keep going in and stuff and whatnot. Which is completely fine. So then we will tribute the Stratos. Activate increase to place Vion onto the field effect of Vion. Then at this point, you would be sending Shadow Mist to add in Liquid Soldier. Yes, we've got a Shadow Mist in hand. That doesn't matter whatsoever. We can use that as fodder for Liquid Soldier. So we send the Shadow Mist to Grave. I'll make the board bigger so you can actually see everything. Ignore the table. And the deck box was a gift from my friend James. So thank you very much for getting that for me. I really appreciate you. And I nearly lost track of thought. We activate Shadow Mist to add in liquid. Liquid, 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 liquid. Liquid, 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 liquid. Da, da, da. There's the liquid boy. And ignore the stick, it's a part of my tripod, so. But we live that. So now we've got in hand a mass change, Liquid Soldier and Shadow Mist, which is completely fine. So we banish a Shadow Mist from Grave to add in a Polymerization, which was luckily right at the bottom of the deck. Then from this point, we would link Vion and Increase together. We keep the Ferris on board. For Cross Crusader. And a friend asked me. Because they were confused about Cross Crusader. How does Cross Crusader work essentially? So basically with Cross Crusader. Once it's special summoned. You can special summon one Destiny Hero monster from your graveyard. But you have to target that Destiny Hero first sadly. It's not special summoned from... From graveyard because it's not target, but it is target, so you have to be very careful on that. And the target is cost. And the only destiny here I've got in grave anyway is the malicious at this point. So we'll special summon the malicious, then activate the secondary effect of Cross Crusader to tribute the malicious to add in a hero. And this is where it becomes crucial, in my opinion. If you're going first, you need the Honest Neos. Which is always a great thing for going first. Because you get to protect Dark Claw or any other hero monsters that have low attack points. And then use a quick effect. It can happen during at any point during the battle phase. Except damage calculation. So, it's basically just right before damage calculation. So... Yeah! 
So we've added in. So the hand we've got currently now is Shadow Mist, Mass Change, Liquid Soldier, Polly, a hero lives. Great, that's fine. And back to Cross Crusader. This is why I count Cross Crusader being the third Mali for now. And then the Denier being the second one. Well, the fourth one, essentially, for me. So, from that point on, I would activate polymerization. Fusing, and my phone's going to fall over. That's not funny. Ha, ha, ha. I can hear you all laughing. And it's not wanting to stay. So now we fuse the shadow mist we have in hand and the liquid soldier. Because they're both different attributes, we will get the sunrise again. And I would always put sunrise in the middle, I don't know why, but I've always have. Then we get to do the draw to discard one, add the... That needs to go back to grave. To... Well, we add in Miracle Fusion, then we add in, then we draw to discard one. And depending what the draws we get, if they're great, hallelujah. If not, we'll have to obviously discard something. So the draw two we get is a Vion and a Super Poly. Hmm. I mean... We could add in the Super Poly for their board next turn. But then they'll be aware of it, so they have to work around it. So in this case, I would still pick the Super Poly, because it will probably be very helpful for us. Then we will discard the Vion. Then from that point on, I'll activate the Miracle Fusion. Fusing... Liquid Soldier and Stratos to make Absolute. If I was going second, this would be going into Grand Tornado to half their attack point monsters. So now we've got... Absolute Sunrise, Cross Crusader, and Ferris. So by this point, we've got a 600 point boost from Sunrise, which will put Cross Crusader at 26, two 31s, and a 32. Which is not a 32, 22, which is completely for two 22s and two 31s, which is perfectly fine. But then, from there, I would link these two off to make Dread Decimator. Because, why not? To have extra attack points is a godsend for heroes. Then, from there, I would... That's not being banished, it's going to Grave. I would banish the one malicious we've got in Grave, and it's cost. So they can't really bell it, because it's banished for cost. So, then we have to special summon the other malicious. Then that will make our mass change live even further. So that is the second going first hand we have. Which is the more better one, honestly. Speaking of honest, we still have honest Neos. Haha. <laughs> so we'll set the mass change and set the super poly. If the starts getting to a point where it's like, okay, we need to go into it. Depending on the matchup we're facing, super poly would be great. Even though we need a dark fusion for one of the predator plants, it's okay. But we live. But we live. So that's the going first hand for number two. So I was like, oh, that's a better one than the first one. I was like, that's because we drew a godly hand. And I'm not going to lie. The hand like that we've had, if we drew Fusion Death, we would have had DPE as well. So the best one you can 
possibly get with this deck going first, if it's not stopped, is this plus a DPE. If it's not, that minus the Dark Claw, it's DPE anyway. So that's the first going, well, second going first hand. So I put all of these back. Then again, could you work something else to work around the bureau? Yes, you can. You have to count your summons. If you have my change in hand, and you summon up to four, just leave it at four, and then go to end phase, then go into Dark Lord next turn, during your opponent's turn. That's completely fine. So now we're going to our first going second hand, which will make it a make or break for both. And this is going to be a longer video, I forgot to mention it at the start, but it's to help you guys know how to combo with the deck and choke point it. And as well, another choke point is Stratos, so if you know you need to have that other piece and don't have a hero last where you drew last Stratos, it's gonna hurt. If you don't have a way of getting into it, then it's going to be more of a struggle. But that's okay. You can probably, once you figure it out yourself as well, it's going to be great. So the first going second hand is Ferris. Okay, there's one piece. In Imperm. Ash. Oh. Rota. Rota's good. And another. Oh, that's bad. Okay, if we're going first and this wouldn't be great because now we're going second. Oh, me no likey likey this. Okay. So, going second. So, we will activate the rotor, which is what we need right now to get in the search that we need. So, we activate rotor. Add in. I would say Vion. We add in Vion. But with Vion, it's also the same as using Stratos, but in, in a better way, which I'm hoping I'm going to easily demonstrate. So we activate, not activate, summon Vion. We send the Malicious to Grave. They're probably thinking, why not Shadow Mist? He said Shadow Mist before. It's like, yes, you can send either or. It just all depends on your hand. If you open up a Shadow Mist instead of a Malicious, you can work around it. So if you have a normal summoned, you send Shadow Mist to search for the Vion, then you send the Malicious that way. And there's the Malicious. And then this way you do burn through two Vions anyway, which is completely fine. So we reveal a Ferris, discarding a Ferris. So special summon the said Ferris, so you have to reveal. Do the whole shindig. Place increase tribute Vion. Special summon increase. Imperming or ashing the increase is a massive choke point because at that point we we can't combo any further. But we we could because we've already got the malicious engrave, which is great. So then we will special summon the second Vion, but we don't get the sand from deck to grave, which is fine. We will link. No, no. We'll activate. Vion's effect, banishing the Vion we've already got in Grave to add in the polymerization, which I just easily skip past. And as I stated in the deck profile before, I am still working on the Adodix with the Brave Engine with DPE still. The Exorcist this is going to take a little bit of time because I'm still a bit unsure about those right now. But stay tuned for that as well in the future. 
So then now we've done that, we will link these two off for the Cross Crusader. Then do the special summon tribute. Because we're going second, we don't necessarily need the Honest Neo. So at this point, we'll be adding in Liquid Soldier. Which is great. Because we love Liquid Soldier. So from there, we will add in... We'll activate Polymerization. We'll fuse Ferris and Liquid. For... That's a part of the graveyard. Whoopsies. To add, no, add a um, special summon sunrise. Then we'll do the sunrise liquid soldier chain block situation. Da, 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 da. Add in miracle fusion. Then draw to discard one. Okay, so the draw to is going to be. Yes! Yes, we will discard an ash. But you don't need that other ash. We like go boo. We don't want two ashes in hand. Boo. So okay. From there, we will banish the sh Malian Grave to special summon a malicious. Da -da 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 -da. I know it might be going fast, but as soon as you know what you're doing, it's going to be fun. Then, from there, I would activate the Miracle Fusion. We will banish Liquid and Ferris for... Absolute. <laughs> then from here you could use the mass change to go into the acid to blow up everything. So, but we're not going to do... But, yeah, we're going to do that. So we activate that, send that, even though it's target the hero for cost. We shall special summon acid blow up everything on their side then we shall link these two off for dread decimator then activate the most powerful fusion destiny we will send the denier and Dasher. Well, Denai is going to be acting as the hero. And Dasher has been the level 6 or higher Destiny hero. So, yay! And then, that's our first going second hand. Busted! And from Dread Decimator... There will be gaining a hundred for each different hero in the grave. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Normally it would be seven, but at most I've had it is eleven. And then plus the six hundred from Sunrise, that's great. You will win easily. Then DP's minus 200 for each hero in the graveyard. They've lost anyway. So that's that hand. The first go in second. The second one, if we get it, is going to be exactly the same. Plus a Dark Law or something else. So even though the second go in second hand is probably going to be the same as this. I'm going to end the video here. So... If you enjoyed this combo video, give it a thumbs up. If there's anything you probably would have done differently, let me know down below in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and click the notification bell. Do what you have to. See you again next time. Peace.